Nick Patrick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Enough said. Amen. Now, don't I also remember Nick Patrick calling for the bell. Nick Patrick letting the whole world know as he rang that bell that Hollywood Hogan is the world's heavyweight champion. Don't I remember that? You remember it, the world saw it, and in case there's any doubt that this man speaks only the truth, take a look at this. Well, we've seen it already. There's Bret Hart. Bret Hart came in, justice was served, after Nick Patrick said, ring the bell. It was a fast count. It's what it was. No, it wasn't, you dumbass announcer. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's the confrontation. Not only. Boy, y'all are just fucking this up, are you not? Uh, w w this is, I'm, it, it goes back to the same thing I brought up in Butts and Seats, still available, by the way. This is the beginning of the end of WCW. This is. It wasn't a fast count. Anybody that saw it knew it wasn't. They made me say it was a fast count, and I knew it wasn't. We just, we just fucked all over ourselves and tried to lie our way through it, and people saw through it. Sting should have won clean. Quickly. Or there should, or there should have been a fast count. Sting should have won clean. End of story. Yeah. Yeah. Or there should have been, really should have been a fast count, and it was just brutal. It was brutal. It was. And so this is the beginning of our end. I can tell, I'm telling you that. And if they, let's see if they can get this one right, WCW. If you got the guts, put it up there for the world to see. Yeah, there it is. So what? Justice was served. <laughs> How many times are we going to fucking throw to the same clip, dude? This is just, this is screwing the pooch on yeah. lack of preparation. Yeah. Not... Right. Conveniently left out the best part, didn't they, Hollywood? Well, they sure did, brother. But a picture's worth 20 million words. And after I beat Sting, one, two, three in the middle, Bret Hart, when my match was over, stuck his nose in my business. And just like I said before, that's the way it was, the way it is, it always will be. I'm the only heavyweight champion in the world. I made wrestling today. And the way it goes, myself and my boss, Mr. Bischoff, are open for suggestions for the WCW to save face because I fear no coward like Sting, Bret Hart, or anybody else because I am the man. I am your champion. Damn. J.J. Dillon, you screwed it up. Give it up for the man. Sting, you should have had a tan. Can't say here on TV. Uh, we have heard enough of it. Man, this is, uh, this is bad. Bungle Jones here. I yeah, mean, this is bad news. <sighs> I want to, uh, read you something from the observer because okay. we know what we're getting. Yeah. Well, Nitro the next night, they hyped a Sting Hogan title match for the main event about six minutes into the match at about 10 04 PM. Just as referee Randy Anderson was bumped after being in the wrong place. When Sting did the singer splash, the show abruptly went off the air. Naturally, there were more complaints about this the next day at Turner broadcasting than anything WCW has ever pulled in its history. Although that reaction was by design and not unexpected. Nitro had set a precedent for the last 18 months of at least staying with the main event until the finish broken once before as a way to garner ratings for the debut of Robin hood by pretending Hogan and the giant were doing a 40 minute match and showing taped clips purported as being lived as the show was on the air. Mm. This actually would have been the earliest. The show has gone off the air in recent memory, despite having nothing but the nitro replay to follow on TNT and being billed as the biggest match in Nitro history. After the show went off the air with Anderson down, Nick Patrick did a run in as a referee. Hogan hit the leg drop, and this time, 
Patrick did the planned fast count. Mm -hmm. And just as he was hitting three for a super fast count this time, Sting kicked out, although it was basically a dead heat as to which happened first. Sting got up, clotheslines Patrick. The match continues with Sting getting Hogan on the Scorpion and Anderson reviving and calling for the bell. It should have been noted that both nights when Hogan submitted to the Scorpion, in neither instance did he tap out. JJ Dillon grabs the belt and gives it to Sting, but at this point, Bischoff and Dillon end up in a tug of war over the belt, with Bischoff knocking out Dillon with a kick. Sting then drops Bischoff with a reverse DDT to the biggest pop of the night. And as the NWO guys go for the run in on Sting, they're cut off by WCW guys with the biggest reaction coming against Bret Hart fighting with Scott Hall. But also out there were Lex Luger, Diamond Dallas Page, Ray Trailer, The Giant, The Steiners, Jim Duggan, and others. So that's what we're going to end with. It just feels less than Tony. Mm. <clears throat> it's because it was less than. Yeah. 